nothing beats the flavor of grilled flank steak, especially when you make a mustard molasses sauce and marinade for it. Hi, I'm Chef Mike, and welcome to Fry's Culinary 411. Fire up those grills, and let's get started. Our marinade slash sauce starts with balsamic vinegar, beef broth, molasses, whole grain Dijon mustard, a touch of salt, and some fresh cracked pepper. And we'll bring it together with a whisk. Now let's place our flank steak into a Ziploc bag. And we'll add our marinade. Push out the air, we'll close. Then we'll move it around to make sure the meat's in contact with the marinade. And we'll pop it in the fridge for a minimum of 30 minutes, or better yet, overnight. Let's spray our hot grill with some nonstick cooking spray. Then we'll add our flank steak to the hot grill. Now we're going to place our reserve marinade into a small pot. And then we'll turn on the temperature about medium, medium high. And we'll reduce it to about one third a cup. Now after about three minutes, we'll go ahead and turn our flank steak. Now we'll continue cooking, turning off in a total of flank steak is just done to your liking. The best way to tell when it's done is to use an InstaRead meat thermometer. I like mine medium rare, so I'm looking for an internal temperature of 130 degrees. When you cook your steak, cook it one way for about the first five minutes, and then turn the opposite direction to make the crosshatch grill marks. Boy, it's looking and smelling really good. Let's move it to a clean carving board. And for sanitation reasons, always have one cutting board for the raw meat and one for the carving of the cooked meat. Now that the sauce is reduced, let's go ahead and slice up our flank steak. Make sure you identify which way the grains and the meat are running because you want to cut across them for a very tender serving. We're going to cut this at about a 45 degree angle or on the bias. 